So let's say you're trying to learn how to program Excel yourself. Maybe you just like programming, or maybe you want to be prepared for a day when maybe we won't have ChatGPT to help us. So you've decided you're going to learn about the VLOOKUP function, so you go to the official documentation. Wow, that's a lot of words, and it's pretty difficult to even figure out what it's trying to say. They have a video, and we need four pieces of information to build a VLOOKUP syntax. What even is VLOOKUP, right? Here's some complicated looking code and some tables I don't understand. Reading this documentation is getting me nowhere. Could there be an easier way to learn about VLOOKUP? Oh, you bet, better believe there is. Let's go to ChatGPT. So here we are at everyone's favorite chatbot. Now, when we want ChatGPT to teach us something, all we have to do is ask it. Give it a little bit of context in Excel and then start by asking the first thing you don't know. What is VLOOKUP? When we ask ChatGPT to explain things that are computer code, it usually does a really good job. So first, it helpfully explains what VLOOKUP is, which is a function that stands for vertical lookup. It is used to search for a specific value in the leftmost column of a table and retrieve a corresponding value from the specified column in the same row. That's already much more helpful than the official documentation. It explains what all four arguments of VLOOKUP are, including possible values and an optional parameter. Now here's the beauty part. We don't just have to settle with this answer. We can ask ChatGPT to explain more about any particular part of the function that we want. For example, let's start explain the lookup value argument. It explains that argument and provides tons of interesting information about it. It says that, among other things, VLOOKUP doesn't support wildcards and that there's an exact match option. As always, we want to make sure before deploying into production that what ChatGPT is saying is accurate. But when it comes to stuff that relates to the documentation of functions and computer code, ChatGPT tends to be at its best. So what if we still don't understand VLOOKUP? There's many additional strategies that we can use to help ChatGPT explain it to us. Many people like the explain it like I'm five strategy. So we'll say explain VLOOKUP to me like, eh, we don't have to be five, let's say, like I'm a first year business student with no computing expertise. So if you find the explanation at ChatGPT to be too technical, you can ask it to explain it to you as though we're explaining it to someone with no technical skill. As expected, ChatGPT has done a terrific job of explaining VLOOKUP in this particular scenario. What if we still don't understand VLOOKUP? It happens all the time. We can ask ChatGPT to give us a particular real-world use case or scenario. Give me a real-world use case of using VLOOKUP to work with a table. And we can just submit the kind of table that we like to use at work. Of cryptocurrencies, their market caps, their tokenomics, etc.
And unsurprisingly, ChatGPT does an amazing job of explaining it this way, even providing us with a code example specifically relating to our query, something to do with cryptocurrencies. So by asking it to use a real world example in an area we already understand, it can be much more easy to understand difficult technical concepts. Finally, let's have some fun. Let's say, okay, explain it to me. Like you are a maniacal anime villain. Ah, I see you seek knowledge, foolish mortal. Prepare yourself for an explanation of V lookup, delivered in a style befitting my diabolical nature. Asking it to explain something businesslike to you, like an anime villain, might not be the most serious way to go about your work, but often enjoying something activates the part of our brain that helps us remember and learn things. Remember, you can be creative in prompting ChatGPT to explain things to you. It often has detailed documentation, thousands of examples deep in its AI memory, for example, about VLOOKUP. So all we need to do is explain to it how to explain it to us in a way that we'll understand. And this is how you learn new things with ChatGPT.